Hello Internet and welcome to this quick guide for installing Minecraft and shaders in Minecraft especially if you're using Xbox Game Pass for PC so the Game Pass has this Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition for free all you have to do is to search on your Game Pass and install it uh, you get this warning that this game does not support installation to a specific folder uh, I'm getting it because I'm trying to install it in a different drive Anyway, I will just uh, fast forward this section. It will take a while to install the game and the launcher. So once the installation is done, you will have both uh, Java and Bedrock editions installed along with the launcher. So step one, do play the game first so it can create the right folders. So all you have to do is to click play. and select the minecraft launcher you can see the two different editions but i prefer to install with the launcher start with the launcher it will take a while it will create all the folders that you need and we will need these folders to install the uh, shaders later on okay so once this is complete you will land in the launcher Here's what it looks like. It is loading. Uh, I have different options available here, but you will not see Iris or Forge. I have installed those just now. It's checking it and I don't know how to down, uh, uninstall it. So now we can go to the complementary shader site. I will leave the link in the description section and download the complementary installer. But before you do that, here's a warning that you need Java. They have a link to download Java. I will also leave the link in the description. Here you can download Java. It's a very fairly simple installation. I've already installed it. It will just give you an exe file, double click and it will install. Once that is done, you can download the complementary installer. And it will look like this. It will be a JAR file which requires Java to open. So when you will double click this file, it will take you to the complementary shader installer. Here you have to select the game version. I have 1.21 0.5 installed and there are two uh, types of shaders reimagined style and unbound if you click on the link it will show you the sample install which are whichever one you prefer i will go with the unbound and once you click the install it will give you two options uh, whether to install the iris edition or the second one is optifine but I, I will go with the iris edition once i installed this iris edition it did not ask me to install the iris first it installed it automatically but if you don't see that option then you will have to install the iris uh, shader installer then you can similar way you can download the bliss shader there's two option i've selected the iris one because i got the iris with the complementary shaders and that's pretty much it you can then copy the bliss shader or any other shader you want to install into the folder of minecraft here's the link i will show you it's a user and app data and from there you can go to the roaming folder in minecraft and there is a folder called shaders pack and here you can copy the shaders there is an easier way from the in game i will show you in a second uh, some people will not have the app data folder visible it is normally hidden so don't worry about it just go to the game it will be really easy to install from within the game so here you will have several options latest release will take you to the minecraft without any shaders but here i will run the iris and the sodium it will show you a small warning that don't play it it's modded but it is okay hopefully so it will prepare the game and it will load with the shaders just give it a second here you go it's loading now So if I go to the option, video settings, here you can see there is shader pack and both my shaders are there. 
If you don't want to install through the folder transfer, you can drag the shader files here. Or you can click this open shader folder and it will take you straight to the folder. And there you can copy paste your shaders. You can change some of the settings, play with them as you prefer. But I will leave it as default. And let's try the complementary shader for the video. Let's go and see the changes in the real game. Okay, I was just dead. Now, fair warning, it will not improve your gameplay. If you're like me, you will still struggle, but it will improve some of the visuals in the game. Ooh, we found a chicken. So, just to quickly show you guys the difference, uh, let me try to find the water. There is a lake here somewhere. you can see now the quality of the water is different here the visuals there you go the shadow and the same goes for the cloud so the addition of the complementary uh, shaders that I've installed keeps the cloud a little bit realistic but if you prefer the other ones, other version, the clouds will be that way. So this is a quick guide. Thank you for watching.